Okay, so I just got done binge reading Fire Punch, all 83 chapters, and originally I was gonna do a, a video reviewing that series just all in one go. But like Cyberpunk 2077, I felt that I should just wait. Right now I'm off that fresh reading high, and ironically enough, reading it was both a blessing and a curse. Because now I'm thinking about things and getting stuck in like, I don't know, the mental state of like nihilism, you know, nothing matters. So, you know, that, ugh, there's just so many things to talk about with that, that I'm just going to let it sit and let it wait and go back to what's comfortable for me right now. And that is the world of Beastars, you know, and it's funny thinking about it because, you know, given the themes of what Fire Punch was about and the questions that he explores this matters I guess this makes me happy <laughs> in a world where nothing matters you still have the ability to make something that matters like this video for instance so let's jump right into it <laughs> so back to my happy place where are we now okay so we left off here we are in chapter 102 was it fire that made his body black? What is that title? Okay, let's see. The personal management bureau is sending over an inspector to check out the My My Milk Factory. The story takes place at a milk factory? Okay, let's see what this is about. Oh, is this one that could be one of those uh, short stories? Did it go to get a job at a milk factory? Doesn't look like it's a Legosi-centric uh, chapter. Let's see, who's this? Uh, the factory manager is angry and admonishes his workers. You suppliers, parentheses, are going, are going to smile and have fun today. Are we clear? Ah, uh, one of those bosses. Okay. So these are the cows? Milk factory, okay. So all of them are cows. Okay. Nicholas-san, use your makeup to get rid of your eye bags. Your large pupils make them stand out. Yes, sir. I work for a milk factory called My My Milk, which is currently managed by a bunch of snow leopards. It's not my fault I don't get enough sleep. Still not here. I'll take a look outside. They're waiting on someone. The norm here seems to be that cows are suppliers for milk, and all the other employees are snow leopards. Even in... Even if the work seems too hard uh, to us cows to handle, we find ways to support one another. Nicola, how are you feeling? I'm doing fine. I got more sleep last night. Even so. So it's much better here without them. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Just the after effects. Is the milking accelerant you need to take a little break? Oh, wait. Is the milking is it the milking accelerants? You need to take a little break. Ugh, I think I started <laughs> reading B stars a little too soon. I've been reading all day. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I am sorry. Just the after effects. Those guys are a bunch of demons. How could he make us take those drugs? Let's go to the dressing room. I know I get dizzy often. It leads to a lot of sweat. We're all suffering. Those drugs are making you lose sleep, right? Ah, so okay. I see what's going on here. It reminds me of the situation with Riz. Just a little bit. At least um, the, the lengths they have to go to. Like, with Riz, it was seen as a negative that he had to take those drugs at the expense of his, like, at the expense of, like, his health. But it was for the greater whole. And just like with, um, with that situation, these cows have to take these drugs in order to produce milk for society. Right? So they're an essential part. They're an essential part of the workforce, and I'm thinking back to the earlier chapters. What was the the chicken's name? Her name was uh, Lego. That's right, Lego the chicken. Uh, she was she essentially she was she she does a, a service to society by producing her delicious eggs so that the carnivores can eat, right? Which is a substitute for like meat that's legal in their world, and she does this out of her own volition. Uh, out of her own volition, that how that was glorified. Um, it was glorified in a way because it was beneficial to society, 
right? But now we're seeing the other side of it because we're not in a, a school setting. Like, we're in a, a, a workforce setting. And this could potentially be Legum's fate after she graduates. You know, it's kind of, like, dark to think about. But, you know, when you have to make a living, you have to keep producing eggs and sometimes the quality might drop and, you know, you might have to turn to, like, stimulants or drugs like what these cows are taking right here so they can keep going so they can keep a job and you know potentially a roof over their head because what are you if you aren't you know useful to society these are the things that that um these are the things that are valuable to society so if you don't have that anymore are you even a cow if you can't produce milk are you a, a real chicken if you can't produce eggs Remember that scene uh, where Legum was sad that she thought something was wrong with her um, and how she wasn't producing high quality eggs because Legos, he said, you know, something tasted different the, with the eggs and, you know, he switched uh, from eggs, you know, the egg sandwiches on those days because they weren't as good. You know, it got it was OK in the end because it turned out that uh, the menu got changed and it wasn't Legum's eggs anymore. <laughs> so that only uh, revalidated like her viewpoint the way she viewed things in her place in society it reaffirmed her viewpoint so yeah so I wonder how this is going to turn out if this is one of those short stories this is the contract between us cows and those snow leopards yeah cows in their 40s said to produce milk that's inferior to milk that comes from your young cows the snow leopards will only hire us if we agree to take debilitating drugs that increase our milk output. Ah, okay. Uh, they have no shame in treating us like this, since they only see us as suppliers. But what really gets me is I have to suffer because of my pride and my milk. Ah, there we go. So, excellent call back to the Legum chapter. Right there. That's pretty sad to think about. This is the same thing. This is all, this is what we've already seen, and I like how it's being explored again. Like you get to see the dark parts of society. Um. Yeah, I lost my train of thought, but yeah, this is one of the dark parts of society. So who are they waiting on now? Anyway, you're crying. Who is this? Oh, come on, Nicola. This is the guy from the PMB. She has chronic hay fever, you see. Sorry to bother you, Inspector. Oh, so he's an inspector. Uh, we're really glad you came uh, when you were so busy. Did I see him before? No, I didn't. Never mind. I thought it was the guy on the front cover. Well, it's my job to inspect workplaces where carnivores and herbivores work together. Being a civil servant isn't easy, huh? Let's see. I have a question to ask as part of my job. Does everyone enjoy working here? Of course, it's a very fair... Oh? What do you do? Oh. I didn't ask for a carnivore's opinion. What? Wait, wait, wait. This milk factory is known to have terrible management, and you're wrong if you think I'll let you throw your weight around forever. Who is that guy? He's nothing like the other inspectors. What's with you? You're no ordinary inspector. Who, me? I'm just a herbivore, and proud of it. <gasps> it's him! Yafia, or Yaya. I'm gonna say Yafia. Wait, 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 so he was... He was disguised this entire time. So he's not a zebra? So they're just bandages. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. I'm an herbivore and proud of it. Okay. Herbivore bodies are not renewable resources. Let's show these managers how vital we herbivores are. And ladies, this society perseveres because of the herbivores' intolerance. Uh, because of the herbivore's tolerance and also because of me. Oh man, he's gorgeous. 
what was it what was he called it's not, it was the sublime beast star yafia that's awesome i love this character i can't wait to see more of them so it's a yafia cent center chapter they're like yafia yafia the sublime beast star this is the first uh, i've ever seen him oh yeah he operates like discreetly i believe huh man this is such a good he got a full panel dedicated to himself. He's the star of the show. That's awesome. Let's see. So you're Yafia, the current beast star. You're known as a manifested guardian de deity who appears out of, out of random places. I never thought you would appear here of all places. He doesn't seem to be the general animal that I imagined him to be. His body doesn't look like an herbivore's body. And he seems to exude the aura of a demon. I'll put the laws back of this uh I'll put the laws of this society back in their place. Beautiful. Yeah he is. The sad truth is The sad truth is that only the strong can lead. They have the right to rule regardless if they're carnivore or herbivore. However, the strong must have compassion. You're a snow leopard, you should already know this. Oh, did he kill him? Okay, he just bent the the container behind him. Wow. He crushed that thing. Okay. Th that tank's made of iron. Did I scare you? This is for the tank. This check's good enough for you, right? <laughs> Th this is too much. It's no skin off my bones, since I'm Beastar, and all of you want to use extra money to better these ladies' work conditions. Make it so they don't have to use drugs to have a nice place in this factory. The Personal Management Bureau sent me here, by the way. You ladies have been suffering a while. I'm sorry I couldn't come here sooner. Thank you very much. Wait, so he... Okay, so he just... That's it? Well, that's weird. Okay, so he just gives him a check. If he, it was just to, I guess. Okay, so I get the point of it now. It was to send a message to the um, cause he has a reputation in like in their world. I forgot what it was. I have to reread, but um, he does have a reputation. It's a reputation of fear, I believe, in their world. Like it's only speculation that he exists. I believe because of how he operates like in the shadows so let's see herbivores and carnivores working together in this environment let's see the best that they res it's best that they respect each other and get along okay so he's using his reputation and it's like physical prowess for intimidation but it serves a purpose because it's not necessarily an abuse of his power. He's completely in his in his in his, uh, in his rights to do so as he sees fit since he's the sublime beast star. And let's see, because you can even see over here that even though they they've been mistreated by the by the leopards, the snow leopards, they're still checking up on this guy to make sure he's okay. Why don't we buy another tank while we're at it? Okay. That way they can make better milk. Today's mission was a success. Okay, so I believe... Man, I don't know what to think about that. Beast stars, the... Beast stars, the only pillar of this world. Ah, I can't read. My brain is just... Uh, Beast stars, the only pillars of hope in this world filled with interspecial conflict. So maybe... So if it's ending on that note... Okay, so if it's ending on this note, there's there's a chance, there's hope. It's supposed to be framed that it's ending on a on a note of hope, right? Because maybe these ladies will be will be treated better because you know you you don't want Yafia coming back and actually turning that uh, leopard's face into the milk tank <laughs> behind them. So maybe, like, I'm wondering how sustainable. It's Yafia's way of doing things. Hopefully we get to see more of their society and Yafia's influence in it. 
but this just gave me like here let me see this just gave me more questions and I hope they have answers so yeah his vigilante well he's not necessarily a vigilante though although he has like a vigilant uh, vinci uh, a vigilantistic approach to doing things. It's like a Batman. Okay, so I'm not going to stretch this out. That was the end of the chapter. In the end, they have better working. They should have better working conditions, better milk, and since they're happier, they'll produce better milk. And all in all, it it should be beneficial to society. So I wonder if this happens sometimes late, sometime later. Because he said it was a success, so... I don't think he's being delusional. But that was it. That was 102. See you during 103.